All right, guys, so on to a much less controversial topic, or put it this way, uh, less controversial than the first topic of the day, uh, as Biden has instituted a travel ban, right? He's instituted a travel ban on several African countries because of the so-called Omicron variant of the virus, the uh, variant that I talked about briefly yesterday that allegedly is more scary than... Uh, previous variants of this virus as it apparently is more contagious right or put it this way they suspect that it could be more contagious right so at the time of me making that video biden had not announced any type of travel ban there wasn't anything about it right however you had countries like the uk and several other countries that were basically instituting travel bans at the time so really it was only a matter of time before uh you know biden and the white house is going to say something about it and then lo and behold they come out and institute this ban now the ironic part about this is that biden is instituting this travel ban on several african countries right as a precaution right to protect american citizens against the spread of this new variant however when trump implemented a travel ban because of uh this virus um he called trump's travel ban xenophobic right but in the media went along with him however when biden's doing it crickets right oh biden's doing what he got to do okay biden's not called a xenophobe same way you know that biden is not called uh racist even though we've seen him make comments that we could characterize as racist right and he's also been responsible for a lot of laws that woke revolutionaries point to as examples of systemic racism however again trump allegedly is is the racist but in the xenophobe but biden is it even though there's much more evidence that biden may be racist than trump but regardless let, let's actually read about what what biden is doing here and what he said in the past about trump president biden has imposed travel restrictions into the united states due to uh coronavirus fears despite previously slamming former president trump as xenophobic for doing the same thing in 2020 quote we are in the midst of a crisis with the coronavirus biden tweeted as a presidential candidate last year the day after trump imposed travel restrictions from china into the united states in response to the spread of the coronavirus we need to lead the way with science not donald trump's record of hysteria uh xenophobia and fear mongering he is the worst possible person to lead our country through a global health emergency again this honestly guys just proves how a lot of people in politics are simply in it not because they have any principles or anything like that not because they have any real beliefs they're simply playing a game right and the game is that whatever the other side does is bad no matter what it is just because it's the other side and whatever i do and my side does is good right and that's exactly what this is because um biden is instituting this this travel ban okay and for whatever reason it's not uh xenophobic anymore and the Biden administration, plus the White House and the Democrats, have all fear-mongered Americans all year long about this virus, right? We've heard nothing but fear-mongering from them in the liberal media. But yet, they accused Trump of being xenophobic and fear-mongering because he was taking precautions to prevent the spread of the virus into the U.S. Now, they're doing the exact same thing. And also, again, what I find to be interesting about this is how Biden swore up and down that Trump was the worst person ever to handle the virus, right? He was terrible at handling okay and that when he got in office he was going to shut down the virus lo and behold uh biden gets in office with the vaccines right with a layup thanks to the trump administration right well allegedly a layup at this point but um uh, he gets in office and the deaths from the coronavirus in 2021 under biden has actually surpassed the deaths from coronavirus in 2020 under trump Right. So we have more people that have died from the virus in 2021 under Biden than in 2020 under Trump. But yet this is the guy that claimed that he was going to shut down the virus and that Trump was the worst possible person ever to handle it. Again, <laughs> these people, it's simply about my side is right. Their side is wrong. That That's what it is. The day before, in addition to the travel restriction from China, Trump issued a proclamation extending his travel ban to six additional countries that include uh, Erythia, uh Kyrgyzstan, Myanmar, Nigeria, Sudan, and Tanzania. Now, some of those countries are African uh, countries, but also some of those countries are in uh, Asia as well, namely China, right? 
But again, these are countries that, you know, have black and brown folks, right? That uh, they're banning from coming in this country because they might have the disease, right? Trump's racist for that. <laughs> Apparently, Biden's not. Biden's taking necessary precautions. Trump's initial travel ban issued in 2017 set new criteria for visa applicants and refugees from six predominantly Muslim countries over concerns that individuals coming to this country could not be properly vetted. Biden later attempted to walk back the xenophobic comment and claimed during a debate that he was making a broad point about xenophobia and not directly referring to the travel ban. Yeah, because he figured out that, oh, wait, um, I might be president one day and I might have to implement my own travel bans. <laughs> so therefore, let me not say this was xenophobic, even though that's what he said at the time. Quote, a wall will not stop the coronavirus, Biden tweeted in March 2020, banning all travel from Europe or any other parts of the world will not stop it. This disease could impact every nation and any person on the planet, and we need a plan to combat it. So he also said further that banning all travel from Europe or any other part of the world will not stop it. So he's acknowledging in March of 2020 that travel bans won't stop the virus. Right. But yet he's implementing travel bans. <laughs> Bro, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. Biden also referred to Trump's temporary immigration ban from certain African countries as a disgrace. Again, it's a disgrace when Trump does it. Vice President Kamala Harris also criticized Trump on that issue, calling the move un-American. On Friday, the Biden administration announced it is restricting travel into the United States from several African countries in response to a new strain of the coronavirus known as the Omicron variant. The travel restrictions will apply to South Africa, uh, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Nambia, Lesthos, Eswani, Mozambique, and Malawi. The European Union, United Kingdom, Israel have halted air travel to uh, Southern Africa in response to the new variant. Yeah, so here we have it. Uh, another double standard, as we see from um, the Biden administration and the mainstream media, in the sense that when Biden does the exact same thing that Trump does, all of a sudden the mainstream media turns a blind eye and they ignore it right uh but when trump does it is xenophobic is racist you know it, all this other stuff just simply because trump did it right and again it, it just goes to show that we, we live in a world where it's my side right <laughs> their side wrong right that that's just what it is and we will say whatever we got to say about their side to make them seem wrong even though we don't necessarily disagree with it we just want to exploit it at the time for political points right and when we get in office and we do the exact same thing, um, you know, it's it's all of a sudden xenophobia, homophobia, <laughs> racism, whatever phobia ism you want to throw out there goes out a window, doesn't apply anymore. So, so hey, it is what it is, but we will see what happens with this new variant. Now, there's been new variants before in the past that have come out that they said has been scary and blah, 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 and it's kind of died down, right? And I'm hoping that this variant kind of does the same thing where it just kind of dies down and it doesn't really pick up, but who knows? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.